Okay, so I passed out our weekly reading goal sheet and I want you to think about how much you can read at home this week. Um, what do you have going on? How much time you can commit each night to reading? Um, so I want you to look at your goal sheet now, and we know that we're going to fill in the G for each day, Monday through Sunday, correct? So what does our G stand for, Abby? Goal. Goal. Okay. Today so in my fifth grade night, classroom, the students were filling out reading goal sheets read. to plan for their week and their reading time at home. I created this reading goal sheet where they are deciding how much and when they are reading and they decide that on Mondays and the idea is for them to especially no, the struggling to, readers to, to read more much as um, can, each week. What happens if you don't reach your goal each night? What should you do one night if you're really busy, you, something came up and you can't get your reading in? Amber? Um, maybe you should try to read Okay, so Amber suggests maybe reading past your goal another night. So maybe another night you're free and you can um, add those minutes in that night. So go ahead and take a minute. The benefit of doing goal setting is that they are deciding what they are doing. I'm not mandating anything. I'm not telling them how much they have to do. It's on them and it's not their parents telling them either. They, they realize they set their goal, they want to try to meet, meet their goal. It's them having that accountability and it's not coming from me, it's not coming from their parents. So I've seen success with it. So after you have your goal sheet filled in, you're going to take your goal sheet home, maybe put it on the fridge, put it in a, a folder where you can find it each night, and then after you do your reading, you're going to color in how much time you actually read that night in the A. What does the A stand for? Kyla? Actual. So A stands for actual. That's how much To prepare my students for the yeah. reading goal sheet, in the beginning of the year we talked about um, our reading goals. What do we want out of reading? And um, we talked about comprehension, thinking about what you're reading. We talked about vocabulary and learning new words. We talked about fluency, having that storyteller voice, um, and picking the right books. So we're looking to our reading goals that we made in the beginning of the year. And John mentioned our comprehension, thinking about what's happened and is happening in the book while we're reading. So just reading words isn't enough. You have to think about what's happening at and one time had a reading calendar where they had to read so many minutes throughout the month and their parents had to initial it and I just found that students had no stake in it and I felt like it wasn't going anywhere I was asking them to read and I had minutes but what what then you know what were we doing with that so why is it so important that we are reading on a nightly basis why is that so important John? I came up with this idea at our um, our beginning of the year kickoff in the county, they were talking a lot about goals. And even with the formative assessment, we were talking about goals and students uh, self-assessing. So then I came up with a reading goal sheet. And then from that, I came up with the reflection. Because then I thought, OK, so I have this reading goal sheet. Now what do we do with it? It's a paper every week. I was putting little stickers on it. We were talking about how much they read. But then what? And so then I thought, well, let me do a reflection where they're reflecting on what they've done and if they're increasing their minutes or they're understanding what they're reading. Okay, Jake, so we're going to look at your reading goal reflection. Um, and you filled this out on your own, so now I want to talk to you about it. So I had you. Every four weeks, I do a reading goal reflection, which captures those goals and asks them to think about. Do they do this sometimes? Do they do it all the time? Do they do it never? Do they never do it? Um, thinking about what they're reading, finding uh, meaning for new vocabulary words, that okay. sort of thing. And then I asked you to rate um, our reading goals and how you think you are doing, correct? So if you put a one next to something, it would be all the time you do that correct, like visualizing, thinking about what's happening, finding meaning for unknown words. If you put a two by it, that would be some of the time. And if you put a three by it, that would be never, correct? So let's focus on your three, something that you don't do, because we want to make sure that you do that, correct? Yeah. Okay, so what did you put a three next to? Can you read that to me? Find meaning for unknown words. You 
using charities that I have learned. Okay, so finding the meaning for unknown words. So that's something you definitely want to work on, right? All right, so your plan of action. You came up with a plan of action, and you said that your plan of action is to use strategies to help you find the meaning of vocab, vocab words, which is a great idea. Let, let me show you what you did on your goal sheet last week. So you found four words that have prefixes and suffixes, correct? So you the back of the sheet came a little bit later in the year. I started with just finding vocabulary words, but then I felt like I could take it to a, a new level and actually see what the kids were learning. And so we did um, prefixes and suffixes. Um, I've done multiple meaning words if they found them while they were reading. I even took it into English and did adjectives and adverbs and had them finding those, the comparisons that we have to do in fifth grade and talked about um, how that adds to the detail of the sentences. So that lets me know who gets it and who doesn't.